hello students welcome back to our practical classes uh, today we will be doing the problem number 20 uh, which is the lake pollution model so this was already done in your theory classes by Biplop sir so let us uh, see this problem and how to solve this problem in sage map so this is the problem number 20 solving a problem of lake pollution model okay so we will uh, take up a particular problem for this uh, the volume of a lake is 1 lakh meter cube and the rate of flow of river water in and out of the lake is 100 meter cube per day. Okay, the river has uh, traces of pesticide with uniform concentration of 5 parts per million ppm. Okay. Uh, form the differential equation describing the concentration of pollutant in the lake at any time t and solve it. Find out how long it takes for this lake to have a pesticide concentration of 2 parts per million, assuming initially that the lake had zero concentration of pesticides. Okay? So the problem basically says that uh, we have a lake whose volume is uh, constant, supposed to be constant in the lake pollution model. It's 1 lakh meter cube. Okay? So and the, uh, the, there is a river which is flowing in and out of the lake, right? And the rate of flow of river is 100 meter cube per day. That means 100 meter cube of water is flowing in from the river, and 100 meter cube per day is leaving out also. Okay, and the river has uh, traces of pesticide with uniform concentration of five parts per million. Okay, so if you just uh, let me enlarge this. Uh, so in the theory portion you can write given b equal to 1 lakh meter cube f equal to so these are the notations that i have used uh, which was used in class also by the sir f is the rate of uh, flow of the uh, water in and out of the lake so it's 100 meter cube per day and c in c in means the concentration of the uh, pollutant that is coming in inside the lake okay so this is five parts per million and let xt be the concentration of the pesticide in the lake at any time t then the differential equation of the lake pollution model is given by this this is the differential equation of the lake pollution model dx dt equal to f by v multiplied with c in minus x okay so what will be our initial condition initial condition will be this uh, initially the lake had zero concentration of pesticide that means x of 0 equal to 0 that means our uh, you can say at t equal to 0 x t is 0 that is the initial condition okay so let us now substitute uh, the values of f and v so we immediately get dx dt equal to 1 by 100 uh, 1000 multiplied with 5 minus x okay so we solve this uh, using the following sage code so which i have done several times uh, variable t and x equal to function x of t and we have to solve this d is solved so we bring everything to the left hand side so this is diff xt plus 0.001 x minus 0.005 time uh, comma x which is the dependent variable okay so let, let us see how the solution is obtained okay so we obtain the solution as this uh, yeah this is the solution obtained c plus 5 into e to the power 1 by 1000 t whole thing multiplied with e to the power minus 1 1 by 1000 t okay so if we just simplify it we can write it this way concentration of pesticide at any given time t is given by x t equal to 5 plus c times of e to the power minus 0 0.001 t okay so initial condition is x of 0 equal to 0 this gives c equal to minus 5 if we just put it in this equation so xt will be 5 minus 5 into e to the power minus 0.001t so when xt equal to 2 we have e to the power minus 0.00t 001t equal to 3 by 5 or if you just uh, take the reciprocal it's e to the power 0.001t equal to 5 by 3 so from there you get uh, t as t as uh, 1 by 0.001 multiplied with ln of 5 by 3 natural logarithm of 5 by 3 okay. so this is what we get up to now so that we can solve it uh, what is the value it's uh, t equal to 
if we just solve this so we have ten, t as 510.82 okay so the, this value of t is in days because uh, initially our uh, concentration uh, th this rate of flow was given in meter cube per day okay so this uh, value of t or the unit of this time here is days okay so thus the concentration of pesticide in lake will be 2 parts per million by 511 days so approximately we are taking 510.82 approximately is 511 days okay so that is how we have uh, solved this uh, lake pollution model problem okay so the theory is important here so you please have a look at this and we will be back with another problem uh, related to this compartmental model in the next video thank you